Well, I guess it's time that we need to start this grind, huh? Don't forget, go over here, view your list, activate the mission, let's hop into a battle. Hey there, Postal here! Ooh, squeaky. Uh, we're taking out the P-51D. I don't have this plane specialized. Um, we've got two P-61s on each team, so... Uh, yay to that. There's also a P-51H, which is a real shame, because... I really didn't like the P-51D when I first went down this line. And not that it's necessarily a bad plane. It's a very mediocre plane, but it's got some good strengths. You've got decent altitude performance. You've got pretty darn good airspeed too, right? Especially for its tier. The problem that you have with the P-51D, it's even worse than the P-51A at tier 6, is that you get out-tiered quite a bit. It's a prime example we're running into right now. Um, you get a lot of tier 8 battles. A lot of tier 8 battles. And this plane tends to suffer a little bit more in a tier 8 battle than a P-51A does in a tier 7 battle. And so that, you know, when I was done with this plane, on the grind on this plane, I was a happy camper. I will gladly admit that. P-51H is honestly one of my favorite planes in the game. Not just because it's super sexy, but because it's a really good plane. And can be effective in a tier 9 battle. Can be very effective in a tier 9 battle. But the, the P-51D here can just super struggle in a battle like this. Right here, we've got to be a support aircraft. And honestly, we've got to hope our P-61 is not one of those loves to camp and defend the heck out of a sector P-61s. Let's hope he's an aggressive attacking P-61. Because that's what you need to be to be another P-61. And it does look like he is, so that's good. I've got to kind of pick and choose my moments. So I think this is a good good moment to get the heck over there. So let's do that. Now our P-61, I guess, is now headed to the center. I suppose that's helpful somehow. Um, he doesn't have any bombs anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's focus on us. That's all we can really f do anyway. Take out the aircraft over here. Try not to get killed by the flak, holy crap. Kill what we can. Their P-61 is just like owning the world. Cool, so we've done what we can here. Let's go ahead and let's get out of here. Um, actually, we've got a multi-role fighter inbound. If we can get him to cross the line... No, our freaking P-61 is going to kill him before he even gets here. Uh, this is like just basic strategy. Don't kill planes outside of sectors if you don't have to. But, I mean, I guess anybody can get a P-61. P-61 really has turned into the XP-54 of, of Tier 8, hasn't it? You know, when I first got the P-61, um, you know, you knew it was strong, but it wasn't, like, overpowered. Um, and I still don't think it's technically overpowered, but what it is, is nobody really plays against it properly, and nobody really plays it properly. So when you get somebody that plays it properly, like Jackson seems to be doing, although now he's just camping the center sector here, so he's reverting back to... Um, you know, the mouth-breathing version of a P-61 pilot. He's going to potentially lose the game because he's just camping a sector. Because a P-61's a really, really good... Ow, mother friggin' crap. Really, really good at defending sectors. Even though it's a heavy fighter. 
mean, it's really good at attacking sectors as well, but you get caught up in that uh, maneuverability sometimes. Really would like to see our heavy fighter, you know, capturing sectors, not killing planes outside of sectors. And killing planes outside of sectors is like doubly bad because you're not even defending you at that point. At that point, you're neither attacking nor defending. You're simply killing. Uh, we got a bat wing here that we need to watch out for. Let's take down the P-47 because at least we can do that. Yep, and again, our P-61 is defending. Stop defending! No, he's, he's specifically camping there. What are you doing? <laughs> the joys of being... Like, like it's hard enough being under-tiered. You're going to tell me that now I got a freaking carry? Alright, cool. Um, we actually need to... Get over there. Yeah, so he's just thinking he's doing great because he's camping the sector, killing bombers, killing whatever rolls into his sector. But the reality is he's probably going to lose us this battle. Yeah, and their P-61 knows what he's doing, at least in a one-on-one -on -one engagement type situation. I don't know if he knows what he's doing in regards to actually winning the battle. Set him on fire, so that's a good thing. Cool. Why are you defending? Oh, well, I can't, again, I can bitch all I want, but I can't control anybody else. So let's just see what we can do here. Oh, shoot. I'm going to boost, too. Could be in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, it does seem like their P-61 actually is changing his tact so that they can actually win the battle. Let's see if I can't boost away from this freaking zero that I clearly can't outmaneuver. Okay, we've either got the Hornet or P-61 inbound. And why are none of my bullets hitting now? Come on. Good grief, man. Good grief. Charlie Brown. Suddenly none of my aiming is accurate. Not very cool, man. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Crappity crap. I don't know if you killing this guy will even get us the sector, but it's my only option, so. Nope, it won't. Hopefully the bomber will get this. Hopefully Flak doesn't kill me. I got 35 HP and a broken wing. The wing is operational. Oh, crap. There's another freaking air defense aircraft just respawned. Oh, so frustrating. Oh, well. So as far as the battle is concerned, we're almost certainly going to lose this. Yeah, the, the enemy uh, heavy fighter is actually attacking sectors rather than defending sectors. Imagine that. And so, you know, they're going to win the battle. But it shows you some of the strengths and weaknesses of the P-51D and, and the biggest weakness of it, that it is a freaking tier 7 plane that goes up against a crap ton of tier 8s. Let's take a look at the second battle. Alright, so we're in our tier 8 battle again, because again, P-51D. Again, not unique to the P-51D. Uh, you're just in your tier 7 fighter, so anytime you get the opportunity to uh, fly in a tier 7 battle, it's a good day. Uh, we are clearly in a tier 8 battle. Uh, we got a P-80A specialized, a Spitfire 16 specialized. Oh, you don't see those very often. Um, so clearly two planes 
Yeah, the P80A is going to be a real pain in the ass. Oh, they've actually got a P61 again, because, yep. We've got a P61, though, and a Yak-3. Okay, so our Yak-3... Oh, actually, yeah, Yak-3 can't outmaneuver us. Uh, Spitfire 16. Hmm. We actually might be in a lot of trouble. Other than the fact that we've got a P61. This game is going to come down to how good our P61 is. It's Sky Terror, which I think he plays P61 pretty often. If I remember. So I think that'll be okay. But the reality is, like, in the one-on-one -on -one engagements, the Yak is typically going to lose to Spitfire. Um, Spitfire specialized, so that's going to cause issues. And I am definitely going to be losing to P51. Uh, excuse me, a P80A. Um, the only thing I might have over a P80 is going to be altitude performance, but I def I don't have anything else on him. Speaking of which, gonna move over here. Nothing to see. P51, P80. I don't know why I keep saying P51 because I'm the P51. Waiting for some respawns. Hey, SU9. IL-8 even? Nope. I'm gonna get myself killed by focusing on those planes and I'm not even gonna be able to get them killed. Get them knocked out in time. Oh, their P-61 came out of nowhere. That's hilarious. Didn't even see him. Got like a stealth build going on there. I was literally paying attention to the map. I don't know where he came from. Unless he was like just kind of up and around over here. And now we're going to respawn. Let's keep pushing it. Mm. Both heavies are over there. And one of the fighters. Actually, like the majority of the humans are hanging out over there. Ah, uh, this is actually going to be a huge pain in the butt, because P-61 is just great at camping a sector, right? And so he's going to camp the crap out of that sector. Well, if he's not going to pay attention, then that's going to be a good thing. Problem is, that P-61... See inbound on us. Shit. Crap. Thought he was. Then he wasn't. Then he was. Then he wasn't. Can I get this guy? Yes, I think I can. Excellent. Good. Taking advantage of people not paying attention to me. Which is usually how I do well. Um, which can be annoying when people are paying attention to me. <laughs> but I suppose it's the problem with, uh, you know, posting on YouTube. So luckily we captured this sector before... We need to take out these multi-role fighters. We captured that sector before they captured our sector, so... Able to, uh, get a few more points than them. hate killing planes outside of sectors. It's pointless, but, I mean, it's the problem with a four-sector map is there's a bunch of space in the center. That guy. I don't have the speed to catch him now. So let's turn away. Let's go focus on something that's more productive. Like these guys here. If we can. Oh. Freaking P61. Oh, and a Spitfire. Oh, shit. Yeah. And they're both on me, so.
nothing I can do there. But if they keep defending that sector, well, no, we've got bombing run going in. They've got two bombing runs somehow? How'd that work out? I don't even know. Considering we captured their command center before they captured our command center. Ah, uh, we're in trouble. We're gonna lose this. Oh well. Um, so let's just go get some personal points, I guess. Yeah, unfortunately, our P61 isn't doing all that well. And so, yeah, we're just completely outclassed here. Um, um, come on. I'm pretty sure I've got bullets. Try to get personal points, that's the mission at this point. We're not going to get the win. Uh, just like last battle, I can't carry in this plane. It's not a carry plane. Especially against uh, basically overpowered matchmaking. Um, can I? No. Mm, you going to turn around, sir? SU 9's inbound. Might as well just try to get personal points at this point. Eee, having fun. All right, some GAs. See if I can knock out this IL-8 at least, maybe. Uh, get him outside the sector, but now the squall line's going on. At least we're gonna get him. Let's see if we can't turn around here. Hi, please. Okay, switch over. Air brakes, so I'm not going too fast. Our one chance is if I can capture this sector for long enough before they capture our sector. So, let's see. Oh, come on, bullets hit. Now you're gonna take 45 minutes to kill a plane when I desperately need you to die. Um, let's go ahead and let's push this sector. We've got minimal time. Minimal, minimal, minimal time. Our P61 is dead, not that it really seems to matter. Our Yak-3 isn't, but their P61 and P80 are dead. We have a fighting chance. We have a literal fighting chance here. I'm not going for that heavy, no offense to my bombers. I would normally like to try to protect them, but self-preservation mode at this time. And if I went and got that heavy, I would die myself. Is he coming down? <sighs> oh lordy. That was difficult. That was really, really difficult. So the first battle is a prime reason why a lot of tier seven planes um, can be frustrating to play. P-51D is not a weak plane, but it's not a strong plane. And this one's not specialized either, so I don't even have like that to leverage. Uh, but we were able to get 15 kills there, three sectors captured. Yeah, some, some work on our stage one of earning a lease. Um, let's take a look at the second battle here. All right, so second battle there, uh, 16 kills, four sectors captured. That one extra sector made a difference, clearly. Basically the same XP, right? Personal points is concerned. Almost exactly the same, if I remember correctly. And just, oh man, having, having to overcome that ridiculous cluster F of humans, pretty difficult. You know, if, if it reinforces anything, it's don't put yourself in a bad situation. Am I going to go against 
you know, multiple planes at a time. I knew once I got the, once I had the um, Spitfire 16 and the P61 on me at the same time, like, you can't do sh nothing, right? P uh, Spitfire, you know, in a P51, you can outspeed the Spitfire. Cool, let's do that. Oh, but there's now there's a P61. I can't outspeed him, and I might not even be able to outmaneuver him. But at least I would try to outmaneuver the P61, but I can't do that because there's this uh, Spitfire on me. So once I had both of them on me, I know I was just dead. Your goal has to be when you're in a situation like this is, first of all, you need to identify the situation. I can't tell you how many people I've ran into that just don't realize that the strengths and the weaknesses of their plane compared to the strengths and the weaknesses of their enemies, right? It's basic in my head, but it's not basic, I guess, in practice. You need, that needs to be your first step, and then you need to find a way to overcome that. So I just mentioned, if I was a one-on-one -on -one versus a Spitfire, cool. Gonna nose down, use my airspeed, give him the deuces. Uh, even without specialization, I know I'm faster than him s relatively significantly. Against the P61, I can't outspeed him, but I'm hoping I can outmaneuver him, yada, yada, yada. Against the P80, I'm just kind of SOL. But in each of those situations, I was able to kill, kill the P61, I was able to kill the P80 simply because I was taking advantage of them focused on something else, right? The P-80 was trying to go for a bomber. The P-61 was trying to go for, I think, another heavy fighter. And I was able to take advantage of that. That has to be your thought process. When you're in a plane like this, P-51D is not really great at anything. It can still be utilized. Even in these tier 8 battles, which are incredibly frustrating and typically going to be the, the majority of the battles that you get, are going to be tier 8. Just know that. How this new pilot helps, we'll see. My goal is to get the P-51D specialized. And that way, uh, once I get Elise, I can just plug her in here and it'll be ready to go. I have my plane built for speed. You only get two freaking slots at tier 7. So I've just do done the upgraded engine. And I have, apparently I've got an experimental collimator sight. I mean, the sight is the only thing that makes sense on this plane. I don't know why I put an experimental one, but whatever. And then as far as consumables are concerned, first aid package, engine cooling is highly recommended, universal ammo. Once I specialize it, we'll see my equipment set up because Elise is going to kind of dictate that. Um, as far as consumables, though, I'm definitely going to be putting in pneumatic control assist. And I will i don't tend to get the engine knocked out, so I will probably put the upgraded fuel, whatever it's called, the improved mixture control. Uh, however, that being said, I might put the manual engine restart. And for the majority of pilots, manual engine restart might be the way to go. Holy crap, I've got 159 of the premium manual engine restarts well that's pretty cool anyway so brief overview of this plane and, and i remember once i got past this plane i never looked back again the p40 was great even before the machine gun buff p51a was doable even before the machine gun buff p51d just felt like in such an awkward place even though you get two more machine guns than you had at two at tier six it just felt like it never mattered because even before the P61, of course. Um, you know, tier 8 just has so many strong planes. Hortons, uh, XP58s. You've got a bunch of different multi-rolls that can, that can turn with you, like a J21, things of that nature. And, and then there's also the JL1A that's currently available as a tier 8 premium. And you just run into so many tier 8 battles in this plane that you just, I just felt really underwhelming to fly this around. And then once I got the P51H... When you look at the difference, I mean, look at the difference in the airspeed and the maneuverability and the altitude performance. Granted, my P-51H is specialized. And look, this is so pretty. <laughs> my P-51D is not even specialized. Like the airspeed on the P-51H, the maneuverability and the altitude performance especially are going to be so much significantly better that it was like, why go back to the P-51D? If you got in more tier 7 battles, I'd be like, sure, P-51D... I can see after specialization it being, you know, at least viable. But um, you just get so many tier 8s. We'll see if my mind changes once I get to the new pilot. I'd love to hear your perspective on the P-51D in the game now before anybody's got the pilot. Is this a plane that you take out all the time? Most people that I've talked to just take out the P-51K, which is the premium version of the P-51D. It's got a slightly weaker engine, but because it's a premium, you already get the additional consumable slots. You already get the airframe slot, and it's a premium, so you earn the you know extra credits. So a lot of people fly the P51K compared to the P51D. 
There's not even a whole lot of people that fly the P-51K, so that tells you how little people tend to fly the P-51D, but I'd love to hear your opinion. Obviously, I haven't talked to everybody about it. What are your thoughts on the P-51D? Feel free to comment down below or hit me up in Discord. I'll, I'll be happy to continue the conversation there. Otherwise, continue the grind. I'll be continuing the grind. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.